court has held that where economic policies are made by government, the court cannot and should not sit in judgment over those choices. I think the clarification is uh, very good. Uh, and to our mind, uh, I think it will be good for business in the future. It will be good for economic development in the future. In terms of its long-term impact on what we are trying to do in this country, it's for opening up the economy and giving everybody a chance in the economy to contribute their best so that we get a robust, strong economy. A very, very significant and much-awaited opinion of the Supreme Court that has vindicated the government's stand that revenue maximization cannot be the sole criteria for distributing scarce natural resources. Hello and welcome. You're watching We Mean Business. I'm Shweta Rajpal Kohli. On the show today, we're discussing if we're heading for a more predictable policy environment in the backdrop of that Supreme Court opinion. Also, we'll be talking about uh, the very, very important Kelkar Committee report on fiscal consolidation that has been made public today. Let me introduce our guests on the show. We have with us Mr. TV Mohandas Pai, Chairman of the Manipal Global Education Services, joining us from Bangalore. M.K. Venu, Managing Editor of the Financial Express, joins us on a link from Delhi. And H.P. Ronina, a very well-known corporate lawyer, joins us from Mumbai. I also spoke with earlier with Dr. Subramaniam Swami, President of the Janta Party. But first, let's listen in to what the government really had to say, reacting to Thursday's verdict on the presidential reference on the 2G issue. Three top ministers today explained the government's position. Let's listen in. There have been cases where the government has not followed an auction. And several cases have been cited where the court has upheld the decision of the government not to follow an auction. The court has held that these cases have been correctly decided, that in the facts of those cases, auction was not the right method, and the government was therefore right in not adopting the auction method. If there's a scarce natural resource, meant for private and commercial business ventures. There is no mandate in the Constitution to dispose of that scarce natural resource through auction. Ab is judgment ke prakash mein hi hum log saare hi, saare hi ab nirne lenge aur humko lene chahiye. Aage kabhi Supreme Court mein kuch aur nirne aata hai, to tab hume o shanshodhan humko bhi karne honge. Supreme Court ke saamne hum log sab, hum log sab apne ko ये मानते हैं कि हम सुप्रीम कोर्ट के कही हुई बात पर और उनके दिशा निर्देश पर ही चल सकते हैं हमारे आगे और कोई और कोई रास्ता नहीं डॉक्टर सुब्रमण्यम स्वामी द गवर्नमेंट इज फीलिंग विंडिकेटेड विद द सुप्रीम कोर्ट सेइंग दैट ऑक्शन इजंट नेसेसरीली द ओनली रूट एंड दैट रेवेन्यू मैक्सिमाइजेशन कैन नॉट बी द सोल ऑब्जेक्टिव योर थॉट्स नो 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 आई एम सॉरी द ज्यूडिशियरी डिड नॉट से दैट the, 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 the Singhvi, the Ganguly judgment says that where natural resources are to be uh, alienated for private commercial exploitation, there, and they added the word perhaps, auction would be the best procedure. That's what they said. But as far as the 2G spectrum case is concerned, the, the, the real reason why they recommended auction is that those private parties which got the spectrum license cheap they went and sold it to foreign companies at eight times the price that they paid to the government of India. So obviously, if you are going to give something cheap and they sell it to somebody else and without doing any work earn eight times the amount uh, that they paid to the government of India, uh, naturally the court will say that this is better that the government earns this money. And that's why when they say the Supreme Court has held now, this five judge bench has held that five, where the maximization of revenue is the question, auction is the only procedure that should be adopted but dr swami the government believes it's a vindication of their stand that they have maintained all this while that auction cannot be the only route and also revenue maximization cannot be the sole objective why else do you think the government is in celebrate celebratory mode <laughs> that is called uh, uh, you know they have to, they have been losing quite a lot in the courts and i think they are uh, trying to uh, pull a fast one and it won't last very long. This, is, this happened before also and uh, we, we know that uh, 
uh, that the government is uh, desperate to show that the Supreme Court has given them freedom to do what they want. They can't. On the question of coal, let me say, there again is a private commercial interest for which the coal uh, sites were uh, alienated from the government. And this has to be uh, auction. And the government today is making all kinds of remarks about the CAG. But the Supreme Court has said, we got a, it's a constitutional body. It's a report whether the government adopts it or not. We will take it seriously. And then we should notice on the coal issue. So I, the government is playing a, what is called as a disinformation game. And we've got to be careful about it. But Dr. Swami, you mentioned the CAG. Isn't it true that the opinion of the Supreme Court has actually weakened the CAG's argument and premise for calculation and coming up with those staggering loss figures with regard to both 2G and Colgate? Because they basically assumed that revenue maximization should be the government's sole objective. No, no, no. Not at all. Not at all. The CAG said auction because of the fact that they noted that those who got the licenses cheap then went and sold it to foreign companies at eight times the price. So therefore, they said that this is a revenue foregone by the government. If the government had sold it to the foreign companies in the first place, the government would have got uh, not eight times, but 10 times. And now, with the uh, new uh, uh, proposal for 2G uh, auctioning, where the schedule has been laid out before the Supreme Court, where uh, I was present when this matter was presented. Now the estimate is that the core, the, in the 2G spectrum uh, auction, their government is going to earn 7 lakh crore rupees, not 1 lakh 76,000 crore rupees more, but 7 lakh crore rupees. It's there, and I'm sorry to say the media has completely missed this number. Uh, how do you explain that? Those who are talking about zero, ask them to explain. How is it that the, the same ministry where the minister said zero, that ministry is telling the Supreme Court they're going to earn 7 lakh crore rupees. All right, Dr. Swami, staying with the Supreme Court opinion, at least in terms of giving back the executive its right and power for formulating policies. In that sense, at least, this can be seen as a victory for the government because there was a lot of talk about judicial activism, about how judiciary is taking away that power of policy making from the government. <laughs> They have not given back. They, in fact, have told them that you can't make policy as you like. You've got to make sure that it's not arbitrary. You've got to make sure it's not unreasonable. You've got to make sure there's no malafide. You've got to make sure there's no illegality. They have, in fact, made it more difficult to now formulate policy. The government question was, isn't it a prerogative of the government to make policy? The answer was, well, it is subject to these conditions. You can make policy. Of course, you make policy. But it must satisfy these conditions and courts can intervene. I don't think that any honest investor will have any problem coming to India. It's the crooked ones who got the shortcut earlier. They are going to have problems. Dr. Subramanian Swami, many thanks for joining us. India's number one news app just got even better. Download NDTV's new app, fully optimized for retina display. Full screen view, faster response time, and Sudoku. NDTV's new iPad app. Download now.